morning guys and welcome to a Texas Flycaster original hotspot. Yesterday after the storms cleared off I went out to a certain location near Lake Ray Roberts and you know we've heard a lot lately about the uh, fishing being really hot in the feeder creeks around North Texas feeding into some of the lakes here. Well I'll tell you this much this is coming out of the lake. You're welcome to book me for a half day and we'll go try some of this. It's uh it's not hit and miss at all. It's pretty much a hit. And what we had yesterday was a situation where I I had to kind of edit this stuff down because these fights with hybrids take so long. But, uh, you know, as I sit here and record this this morning, uh, the rain's coming down again. And history might just repeat itself and the sun might come out this afternoon because that's just the way things are going here in North Texas right now. So um, it's a very uh, strange weather pattern we're into this early spring and it does mean that uh, the only places you have to fish are not the typical places so this is uh, actually somewhere different but near a familiar spot a familiar hot spot so anyway I'd say these fish range from about I don't know two to five or six pounds in general I think these that I caught yesterday were in the four to five pound range with a smaller uh, fish at the end but um, that smaller fish is actually a sand bass I think let me get a drink of coffee this morning and maybe I can keep talking if you're interested in this kind of fishing I'm using a Clouser minnow and it's pretty heavy because there's current I'm casting out in a current that's coming out of two places right there and uh, it's really a kind of a spot that you just look at it and you know because a lot of nutrients are coming out that means small fish and small fish mean bigger fish and it's got this little curvature in it that it kind of gets rid of the current right there kind of kind of mutes the current and so that's where I fished instead of going to combat further up the river there that's the Trinity River and um, of course, none of these fish come close to the 10-pound hybrid I caught there back in 2010, which would be a state record, but never got photographs of that. The photographs uh, didn't come out, so it's uh, one of those painful things that I keep working over in my mind again and again. I wasn't the photographer, thank goodness, because otherwise I'd never forget myself. But uh, anyway, it's uh, great fun great fights these fish know how to use current they're very very active right now very very much in a in a spring fighting mode so let me get another sip of coffee try to keep this throat from just blowing out these are some really good looking fish very healthy very hefty and I think uh, you know this beats going out and mucking around and muddy what we used to call in South Texas irrigation ditches what they call them up here are creeks and just kind of a little bit cleaner action a little bit more uh, room for the back cast and actual uh, uh, fly fishing kind of settings a little bit more pristine by North Texas standards anyway thanks for watching I'm gonna just go quiet now quietly that is and you guys have a great week. Be sure you hit my contact page on www.texasflycaster.com. Contact me. If you're interested in doing one of these outings, usually half day, early in the morning should be fine. And uh, we'll have to uh, work our way around the crowd, so that's why we go early in the morning. Thanks for watching.